Hi everyone, Julia here, hello from Sweden and welcome to a new video. Today I want to show you some fun idea uh, what you can do with the book pages. I'm pretty sure that it's nothing new and that probably there are also videos on YouTube from other people who do something like this, uh, but somehow I never came across this and also I, I'm not really sure if I saw something like this on Instagram. Um, so I want to show you, maybe you also don't know that it's possible and never tried it like me. Uh, and what I'm talking about, it's uh, printing on book pages. I think if you are into junk journaling and especially if already for longer time and if you like vintage books and if you buy vintage books for junk journaling then probably you have many many different book pages and sometimes it feels like it's even too many and that you won't be able to use them in your lifetime because it's just so many. Sometimes, at least for me, it really feels like, like I just have too many of those books, book pages just with text and that I will never be able to use all of them because it's so many that I just can't make so many collages and so many journals to use all those pages. So I came up with, with this idea, like how else I can use them and uh, as I said I didn't see uh, any videos like this on YouTube I'm pretty sure that there are but I never came across anything like this and I came up with this because because of this book uh, I was making uh, black and white collages something that I really enjoy to do now is to use black and white ephemera and to make some black and white papers and for making uh, most of those collages I used uh, illustrations from this book that's just some nature book uh, with beautiful small animal illustrations birds there are also pages like this with uh, colorful illustrations and also with black and white photos and also colorful illustrations but uh, most of the illustrations in this book are black and white like this and most of them are really small like this different birds and there are also butterflies and animals and just really uh, many different nice nature illustrations and i liked this book and i liked uh, to use these illustrations and uh, when I was making those collages, I thought that looking on these illustrations, I thought that it also would be cool if they would be somehow printed over this text, uh, that they have some background. All of these illustrations have a uh, white background, uh, but as you can see, pages are really thin and uh, the text from the other side of the page is visible uh, and it's kind of like still a little bit very very little bit visible when you cut out these images um, but just very very little bit and I thought that it would be cool if this text uh, was visible even more that that would give some nice effect like kind of that those images are printed in a way over the text uh, that was just some some thought that I had uh, while making those uh, black and white collages and then I forgot about that for a while. But then a bit later I remembered about that again. And then I thought why not to try to print uh, some illustrations myself on the book pages and use not just white plain paper or any ca other kind of plain paper uh, but just to try to print on the book page. For example, also in uh, this book there are some pages uh, just with text without any illustrations and I thought that maybe I can... Yeah, there were rather many pages in the back of this book, but as you can see I already used them. So I thought why not to try to use these pages with text only and try to print something on these pages. And it turned out really well. I didn't expect that it will turn out so well. Uh, I decided just to try and see what how how it will look and I found just different kinds of book pages from 
different books, different sizes of pages, uh, but different kind of paper. And just decided to try to print something on book pages. And I really love how it turned out. I don't know, I, I, I just love uh, to see this text through the images. With, with some images it's not really uh, visible, like for example here, when it's really this part of, of the bunny is really, really black, very dark. So there it's not really visible, but still uh, you can see text through through the image and in general I really like how this looks all together. So I think you can cut out this image and go it down and text still will be visible and also you can use it like this, like as a full page or maybe just cut it out a little bit and I really like how this looks like kind of that it's printed over the text. It looks like a drawing maybe or I don't know, but somehow I really like how, how this looks. And I tried this with um, different images, with different book pages, different sizes of the book pages. I also tried it with colorful images and as you can see it also works with some, not with all. Like for example with this one it turned out pretty well. I also like how this looks, you still can see the text. But with some colorful images it's not really possible, not really works, because colors are too vibrant, too bright, and when you print over the book page then text is hardly visible at all. But with some, like this one for example, it also worked. Uh, but somehow I noticed that I like more uh, black and white images too, just to print some black and white illustrations, images. I don't know, somehow, I, maybe that's because at the moment I just really enjoy to work with black, black and white ephemera and make collages using only black and white ephemera. Maybe that's why I like black and white more at the moment. But somehow I really like how, how all these images turned out. And as you can see, all of them are a bit different. Some, uh, in my opinion, look better, some maybe a bit worse, but but I kind of like all of them and I think I can use all of them. Some maybe to cut out and use just the image and text still will be visible. Some, uh, some also to use as a full page and yeah, as you can see, some are printed upside down. I always forget how to put the uh, paper correctly that it prints uh, like this, like in the same direction that text, but on some images it's upside down, like text is upside down, but but it doesn't bother me. I think it's anyway, it's anyway nice. And also the good thing that, of course, you, you can decide how you want to print them. You can print them full page like this. You also can print them in smaller size. They are a bit, uh, they are also, I have some uh, smaller images I will show you in a moment. Of course, you also can print them like this, like a full page, big images. So you can decide yourself how big you want them to be. Depends from the size of your journal or size of the project that you have in mind. You can print them in different sizes and as you you can just turn, change some settings in your printer and just decide what uh, which size do you need. So here as you can see I printed a few images on one page because this book pages are quite big, so I just printed uh, different sizes, also some are colorful. And I really like how most of them turned out. And yeah, as, uh, as you maybe noticed, sometimes uh, 
Sometimes it prints uh, maybe a little bit weird. I don't know if you can somehow position your images differently. If you want to avoid something like that, that for example, that if you print uh, people that if you don't, that you don't want to have text on the face, maybe somehow you can position them better. Uh, that there is no text on the face, like here, for example. I didn't do anything, it just printed like that, but um, to be honest, it doesn't bother me at all. Uh, even if there are maybe some a bit weird images, um, I think it's still okay to use them. Maybe it will turn out that few of your images that you print are not as good as you expected and that you don't really like it, but I think in that case, anyway, you still can use the other side of, of, the, of the book page. Like, for example, I will show you this one. This I really love how, how it printed on this music paper. And as you can see, like, I really like how this lady looks, this one also. But for example, this one turned out a bit weird because of, of this here. I think it's kind of weird that her face is pretty much covered. I'm not sure that I will use this image, but the good thing with the book page is that even if your image turned out not that well, that you don't really like how it looks, you still always can use the other side of your page. So I think in case of this lady, I just can use this side still for collaging, but these other images I really like. And also here, as you can see, there are some markings uh, on, on their faces. But for example, with, with these pages, I kind of like how it looks. Like something like this doesn't bother me. I think it looks even more interesting. Maybe only this one also is a little bit weird because there are those dots. <laughs> on her face too close to her eyes. So you have to be aware that when you print something like that, that it may turn out not as great as you expected, but still I think you can use it. You can use the other side of your book page if you don't like how it, how it looks. And uh, I have to say that with most of these images that I printed, I like how they look. Most of them I definitely can use and those that I don't really like then I just will use the other side of the of the book page. And I also have a few two recommendations uh, maybe that will help you to avoid some mistakes that I did and uh, maybe will make this process uh, a bit easier for you. Um, the first thing that you have to be aware of is uh, that not all book pages are good for printing. I wouldn't use uh, glossy book pages because I think it depends very much from uh, printer that you have. And maybe with your printer it will work, but also there is a chance that it won't work and that it will be just a mess. Uh, I tried with one glossy page and I didn't like how it looked. It printed okay, it wasn't... Uh, the image was kind of clear and nice, but still I didn't like how it looked. And um, that page, uh, unfortunately, I think I don't have that, that page anymore. It was just not good and I sorted it out, so I don't have that one. So I think the best to use just this nice matte book pages and not glossy. But of course, if you like glossy images, you also can try to print on, uh, on glossy pages. And the other thing that I wouldn't recommend you to use very old book pages. If you have some really, really old books, uh, like those nice yellow uh, old book pages, uh, I think sometimes you even can probably notice that when you use them for making collages or something like that, try to glue them down and they kind of so old and thin that they almost fall apart in your hands. Uh, so I wouldn't use pages like this for printing if they are just too old, too thin that can be easily uh, easily damaged. Uh, then better to avoid papers like that because they 
can just stuck in your printer and your printer can break because of that maybe i don't know maybe not but i think it's better not to use those uh, really really old papers that basically just fall apart in your hands uh, and also something that i noticed that uh, when you print then better uh, before printing better to uh, cut your paper if you have any torn rough edges of your uh, on your book pages um, just if it's just a little bit like something like this i think it's it's okay it prints well it's okay but if you have some kind of really rough torn edges on your book pages uh, then maybe better just take your scissors and uh, cut off those rough edges that edges of your uh, book pages are more or less straight i think like that you also can avoid that uh, they stuck inside your printer and then you just have to remove that somehow and i think you can print almost on any size of book pages so i printed on these big ones these are more like a4 papers i think they're a bit a bit bigger than a4 but uh, in the settings i chose a4 paper for printing on this these are a bit smaller also like different sizes but a bit smaller so for uh, for these pages for the smaller pages i just changed uh, in the settings to a5 uh, when i was printing these images and of course you can choose a few images at once and print them on one page and just do whatever you want just to print them in different sizes i think i kind of like more even more this uh, bigger images um, i also tried to coffee dye some of of this prints and turned out okay i would say like, some things like like this don't really bother me i think it still looks okay and for example this one i just added a few coffee drops around and it looks nice this one i uh, dipped in coffee like this completely so yeah as you can see it's not very sharp anymore but still kind of okay i think i can still use it it gives interesting effect i would say but um, you have to be careful with with some things like that but surprisingly on this music paper it turned out pretty well I kind of like how, how it looks here on the image, the small drops on the image. But as you can see, I uh, didn't dye these uh, papers completely like this, like all the page, but just added a few small drops. So I hope that all this uh, gives you an idea how else you can use your book pages if you have too many of them like especially those pages just with tag and also as for for these images like where to find images like that that you can print on your book pages uh, all these images that you see here all that what i shown you here all these are from one website i will leave you a link to that website in the description box the website is called old design shop and uh, basically it's like a website a blog of one lady who uh, shares uh, vintage images vintage illustrations from her own collection online she just uploads them uh, on that website and you can download them there for free and for your like for your personal use you can print them as many times as you want and all these images you can download for free from there and there are hundreds and hundreds of different images and there are many many different images also colorful images nice colorful images some like for example scans of some old uh, vintage postcards and some illustrations from books and stuff like that they are also sorted there by categories like animals or some holidays for example christmas images or easter images or flowers or birds or stuff like that so uh, you can also easily 
search for some specific image if you so if you need something specific if you don't know this website yet and if you go there then probably you will be lost there for for a few hours maybe uh, like it was for me because there are so many beautiful images that you can download and print and of course you also can print those images not only on book pages but just however you want and also use in your uh, junk journals uh, that's one of the options where you can find some illustrations like this for printing on book pages and think also if you have some vintage books with uh, black and white images you also can scan them and then print over the book pages or something like this or maybe you already have some images or illustrations uh, saved uh, somewhere on your computer and you can try just with different ones that you already have also also as i said with colorful illustrations it also works that this little video was interesting for you and inspired you to try this if you never tried it well now until like a few days ago I never thought about printing on book pages. I don't know why, but I just never thought about it. So if you are also like me, uh, I can highly recommend you to try this and to see how it will turn out for you. You can get some really interesting and nice results. And I think it's a really, really great way to use your book pages just with text if you have too many of them and just don't know what to do with them. So I will leave you a link to the website where I downloaded these images. They are copyright free. Um, so you can check out what what is there. There are really hundreds and hundreds of them. So I think you will have there a very good choice of images that you can try to print. So I hope this video was inspiring for you, that you learned something new that you can try. And thank you so much for watching and see you in my next videos. Bye.